From startup founders to seasoned business leaders, our guests share their stories and insights to help you overcome challenges, seize opportunities, and achieve your goals. So if you're ready to learn, grow, and succeed as an entrepreneur, hit that subscribe button and tune into the Global Entrepreneurs Podcast today. In three, two, one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And sa mga nokship dyan, uh, magandang madaling araw sa inyong lahat and to all our listeners and followers around the globe. My name, nandito na naman kami, nagbabalik. Sa, ito na naman si Elmer from California. And uh, partner Erwin, and uh, andyan ka ba? <laughs> Wala ako dito. <laughs> How's the weather in Canada right now? Hey guys, what's up, Ketchup? Andito kami uli. Ah, uh, tagulan ngayon eh. Hindi ko alam bakit umuulan pero wala pang snow. Wala pang snow. Kamusta diyan yung weather? Sa California. Uh, dito, um, we're actually heading to winter. At oh, kaya, which is pero good. Pero wala kang snow, 'di ba? We do after three, three hours drive from him, from my place at North Bay. Oh, There's a merong snow. Remember you the cemetery is just nearby. But oh. this I think partner this this episode is very exciting because um meron tayong mga invited guest host I guess na sina na ngayon today. Tara na ba din si Alan? Kinakasan na naman tayo ni Alan eh. Alan has go uh, yeah, Alan kung nasan ka man, yung puro ka appointments. <laughs> But hopefully bawi ka next time. Um Thank ayan, you. Um, We miss you buddy. <laughs> so I heard meron tayong magandang guest right now na I think is really um, a good resource uh, for this podcast especially that we're talking about capital right yes mm-hmm. and um, thank you nga pala kay shout out to Miss Ria Topacio of wow. Luneta Ice Cream from the last episode um, that was an awesome interview And more yeah. power and uh, more success to your Luneta ice cream <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> Luneta ice cream, Guapito beer. Papadalan daw tayo eh. Abi talaga siya kayan. Ano, iba magtatayo na kayo ng uh, another dealership diyan sa Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit mo sinasabi? Wala ba kayong pinag-uusapan? <laughs> kasi na anyway. uh, last week kasi in the uh. last time eh, uh, hindi pa ako ready. May tinatayo pa akong isang franchise eh. Pag natapos na siguro. Pinakasaw <laughs> niya naman sa akin. I can't do. Uh, pag-uusapan natin niya outside. Sige. So, today is gonna be different kasi nga wala si Alan. Um, we have a guest host. Ang guest host natin Ooh! is from um, from our first episode. I don't know if you remember... Uh, You remember Ron Moreno? Ano ko nung makalimutan? Ang president and CEO ng Roman Essence International. Mm-hmm. Galing. Ang naalala ko sa kanya, isa sa ano eh, sabi niya kasi naalala ko, sinabi niya, kung mag-start ka pa lang ng business, wag ka mag- don't hire family or relatives. Basta yun yung sinabi niya. <laughs> yun yung, yeah, it sticks to my, ano to, na, o nga. Grabe, no? di ba? Tama naman eh. Kasi kung wala ka pang policy, wala kang rules, magulo di ba magkakatampuan it was a uh, grabe din yung ano na yun yung episode na yun yeah, uh, doon sa mga hindi nakapakinig pwede po kayong bumalik i think it's the very first or second episode of the podcast so that yeah. you can understand yung yung concept ni president uh, Rafael Moreno yon tawagin na natin si uh, si Ron Mr. President uh, Ron Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Grabe na, Misty. Yeah. Ang nistabi yung boses mo. Ay, ay, congratulations, Ron, ha, for being an ISO certified instructor. Uh, yes. Auditor. Auditor. Uh, auditor ka na? Wow, yeah. congratulations. Uh, kasalanan ni, ano to, ni Alan to, kaya nandito ako. <laughs> <laughs> Lagot ka, Alan. <laughs> Ayan, so yun, uh, thank you for inviting me as a guest host. And and yun, uh, ayun, para magandang ano to, para dito kasi morning, 7 a.m. Eh, so at least mm. umpisa pa lang ng araw, may, may mga learnings na agad sa guest natin. Kamusta uh, ang weather ngayon sa Manila? Uh, mainit, mainit dito sobra. <laughs> ah, mainit. 
Oh. Eh, bu- wala kang pajak today. Wala, wala. Ano nga ngayon? Podcast muna. <laughs> ano na muna ako? Uh, calorie deficit muna ako ngayon. <laughs> ayos, yeah. ayos. Oh, Elmer, i- 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 ano muna? I-, I know you're excited dun sa guest natin. Saan bansa ba yung guest natin today? I think we, oh, actually from our very own the Pearl of the Orient, Philippines. Wow, motherland. Metro Manila. Mm-hmm. Okay, introduce ko na. Introduce mo na. I'll give you the floor. Yeah, he's actually the CEO or president of Seaversity Incorporated. He is also, uh, um, let me see, yung kodigo ko eh, nawawala. How did I get it? Then, nandito lang yan. Actually, ang guest natin ngayon is medyo ma- matalino at bigatin. <laughs> Balita ko, taga-UP daw yan eh. Oo, oh, pare sila ng, ano, ng uh, wife ko. She's a uh, UP. Um, so, mat- matalino. Yeah. Eh, eh, ako, taga-UP rin ako, pero UP anan la. <laughs> ano, no? <laughs> UP, UP anan la. Taga-UP ka. <laughs> Pero, ano, kan. But anyway, let's... let's... <laughs> um, uh, see, um, he is also the president. Uh, uh, I think she's all. He's also a president of STI Training Academy Incorporated since mm-hmm. August 2023. Uh, nasabi ko na she's the C- he he is the CEO of Seaversity Incorporated. Started 2017 up to the present, and also he is a, uh, a graduate of Marine. He's a Marine engineer, and he's also a simulator instructor from Collinsburg. Cor- maritime since 2015 this guy has a lot of experience and i think um a good resource uh, uh with no further ado let's welcome our uh guest erwin Ephraim de la serna Yay! hey guys <clears throat> good morning good morning, good morning, good morning <laughs> Ephraim. how yeah, are you yeah, yeah fine i'm gonna see um, um, it is Ron, right? In the Philippines as well. I'm in it. Sobrang in it. Sobrang in it. Masyadong, ano, masyadong, masyadong mainit ngayon. Kahit sobrang aga na. Oh, okay, okay. Pero usually, di ba, pagdating na November, December, mag-start na yung lalamig, di ba? Oo oh, nga eh. Hindi, parang, hindi mo ba intindihan yung climate ngayon dito eh. Oh, eh parang nito mga uh, previous years, nag-iba na yung ano eh. Yung lamig hmm. niya lumalabas January na. Eh. Ah, nag-move ah, eh no? Okay, nag-move okay. Eh. Ayos. So, um, welcome to Gen Podcast, Ephraim. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you, you for here. inviting me. Um, so... Aside dun sa sinabi ni Elmer, al- alam namin, you're from the UP, <laughs> you're the president and CEO of the Seversity, right? At saka yung STI Academy. May akong ka pa bang gustong i-share sa mga, sa mga listener namin all over the world? Kasi uh, Gen Podcast is um, everybody can listen all over the world, right? So we have listener from Europe, North America, sa Asia. Um, so Introduce me sa mo in a bit para mas makilala ka namin deeper. Yeah, um yun I, I started my career as a as a chief engineer. Uh, I was a chief engineer for uh, I I started my career as a seaman talaga. So oh. I, I I came from a scholarship foundation in from University of Cebu. Cebuano talaga ako. As, oh, as, as you okay. all know, <laughs> sobrang most of the parents na kasi ng Pilipinas talaga. If you came from, a, I, I came from a very poor family. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, when 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 I was starting my scholarship program, alam mo naman sa Pilipinas lah, halos lahat ng parents talaga. Pag, kung gusto mong yumaman agad, magsimang ka na lang or you know, it's a <laughs> Hindi naman yes. si man ako. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then, 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 then. So yun yung yun yung pinaka 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 go, pinaka pinaka setup namin as a family kasi I was going into nakapasa ako ng UP up uh, University of the Philippines na entrance exam eh. 
UP upcut then sabi ng mom ko na magsiman na lang kaya ka nagsiman ako but I finished my career in a period of five years um pushing it like it was only five years na tapos ko yung top level position eh so sabi ko sa nanay ko ma pwede ba pwedeng career ko na naman yung tapusin ko so ayan lumipat ako ng ano lumipat ako I started with the IT career Nag, oh. Nag-aaral ako sa University of the Philippines. Nag-masters ako sa Masters in Distance Education. Kaya yun, I'm, I'm still I'm still working on my Masters. One, one semester na lang. Pero, um, yan, umabot ako ng, from Seaman, naging ano, naging, ano, naging IT. Mm-hmm. So, nag, ano ako, <laughs> nag, naging, I, I, I'm very, passionate kasi about education eh. mm-hmm. I started with educating people using virtual reality augmented reality kasi I, I don't hindi naman I don't believe that chalk and board is one key factor but definitely is pag nakik- mas nakikita kasi ng studyante kung ano yung ginagalawan niya mas mataas yung tinatawag na outcome based education kaya that's where I started visualization of of things no in using virtual and augmented reality tapos nag expand na nag ano ako ng payment gateway we have our own payment gateway um mm-hmm. like gcash and paymaya sobrang ano sobrang idol si Elon Musk then we created oh. our own mm-hmm. then um so marami na rin. it's like four to five companies already I'm, i i own already yeah yun Nag-expand siya in a period of five to, yeah, period of seven years. So every time na may investment, nag, nag, kumita kami ROI with, together with my investors. So they trust me so much. So yun, nag, nag, ano kami, nag-expand, nag, nag-expand. Ngayon, yesterday, we just created one more new company kasi sabi ko, bro, there is a, there is a need for this one and this is a niche market. And that, that's how I, I became, who am I? Kaya, Sobrang layo eh. From what you wanted, from what course that you wanted, there's always mm-hmm. a continual process of educating yourself and be another form eh. Kaya yeah, lifelong learning talaga siya. Yeah, I think, I think that's who am I. Galing. So from, from seaman, um, from being a, a, sema, a marine engineer, mm. now you're in the field of IT development. Yeah, mostly IT. Yeah, mostly talaga IT. Yeah, Life like, learning is niya. Yun yung maganda. Would you like to mention some of your companies? Na are they based based here in the Philippines or meron kang base um abroad? Actually, um, mo, lahat ng companies ko are Philippines talaga. Eh. We do not we do, but we are catering for international um exports yeah, for especially mm-hmm. with the IT. Um so Siversity is a maritime platform. Uh, PCI Tech. Uh, I'm currently the vice chairman of PCI Tech. Kasi when we found out that what we're doing for virtual and augmented reality learning management system can be done for non-maritime, I work with projects with the Department of Science and Technology, the Philippine Navy, the Coast Guard. Tapos expanded it more with payment gateways um we're the ones working with um the bureau of quarantine pag umaalis ka ng bansa the yellow card we're the ones who built the booking system for that one um marina that's bureau of quarantine then nice. meron kaming staff augmentation then um people from korea um it started when people were asking me like from kailangan namin ng mga it that's another company then we started again one maritime you know it's a loan platform for seafarers and job application platform syempre we have a payment gateway already kaya pag mayroon ka kasi payment gateway and dami yung pwedeng pasukan kahit ano anong business na mm. so, ano pa pala ng payment gateway na yeah. product niyo pisopay.com it's different from pisoneta pisopay.com Pisopay.com. Pisopay. Oh, okay. oh, first time ko marinig yan, ha. Pisopay.com. Mm-hmm. Well, so you can, 
so pwede mo siya i-connect right to to any yeah. system that you have right kasi yeah yeah okay it's, it's like a gcash hmm. actually gcash is a emi license so an emi license is that you have electronic money inside inside your i know this one is just like a wallet and a payment channel and portal Oh, wallet. So yung mga merchants with, uh, across the uh, the Philippines, uh, yung mga may businesses, they can use pisopay.com as a um, a service uh, payment channel to all their customers using pisopay. Yeah, we we create ERPs or or solutions that can integrate and reintegrate uh gov mostly government sector. Eh. LTFRB mm -hmm. kasi yung goal kasi namin is for the advocacy of ARTA, yung anti-red tape, di ba? <clears throat> kasi pag may pila kasi may, may corruption talaga yan. There's always... <laughs> Ulitin mo nga, pag may pila, may corruption. <laughs> may kila. Yeah, yeah, may, pag may pila, may corruption yan, bro. That's Thank that's you. one thing, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what we, we, we can't... During, nag, nag-pop out siya nung pandemic, eh. Kasi sobrang haba ng pila, walang... Yeah. There's no system in the government. So mm -hmm. kami, we we build a platform. So we have almost a hundred already, hundred thirty-two people all over, spread all over the camp, all over different companies as well. Pero what what we do is reintegrate and reintegrate them. So, for example, in Bureau of Quarantine is like um, booking platforms. Another one is our latest now is from Bureau of Correction. Um, mm -hmm. Kasi di ba naging issue yung pera sa loob na merong uh, moving money inside Bucor. Ngayon yung Bureau of Correction is parang Ateneo and Lasal. Yung oh. pag-parent ka, um, mag magpapadala ka na lang dun sa nakakulong. Then they cannot have money inside but they have a QR code where they use that one to buy things and stuff. So it's also monitored inside the Bureau of Correction. To, oh, to prevent oh. ano, to prevent money laundering and everything inside mm -hmm. that's a national one kaya marami nga nagsasabi sa amin na minsan kasi alam mo yung lalabas ka ng ibang ibang bansa kasi nandun talaga no, no offense ha, pero yeah. lalabas na ibang bansa kasi nandun yung opportunity sometimes yes. it's just like you need to look into the niche market and tap opportunities that can really create breakthroughs and, and you know, there, there is a lot of opportunities in the Philippines. It's just like to create the right mindset on on that's right. looking on that opportunity. That's what he said. Yeah, right mindset. That's how you have to find the niche, right? Tung sa ang ano, yeah. Ron, mayroon ka bang gusto ng itanong or? I ah, ano na kalilita ko dun sa sinabi niya na kasi gusto niya computer, di ba? Tapos mm -hmm. parehas kasi kami na pinilit ng parent na parents na yung course na hindi gusto. Mm -hmm. Ang nagkaiba lang yung sa kanya, pinurso niya. Sa akin kasi mga ginawa ko puro short courses lang. Mm -hmm. For the computer. Parang gano'n. Mm -hmm. Tsaka, yung maganda rin yung mga apps na, ano, yung sa, ano yun, sa correctional. Hindi yeah. ko lang, na curious lang ako, paano, paano nag-work yun? Kasi di ba may, may, may cellphone sila doon? Hindi, hindi. Uh, meron silang QR code. QR so code. there is a kiosk na pwede nilang scan yung QR code and they can check their balances. So there is no cell phones there, walang mm -hmm. ano. So yun, meron lang silang ID or PIN number na pag pinasok nila yung PIN number nila, nakikita na nila kung ilan, magkano na yung balance nila. Kasi naging Senate hearing yung ano eh, yung, um, yung charges ng GCash, charges <laughs> ng Paymaya. So mm -hmm. nag nag yung problema, di ba? So it's it's something na um nagiging <clears throat> money making talaga sa loob. So after nung yeah. ano, after nung Senate hearing, doon yung naisip yan. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we look into those solutions talaga. Then we were asked if we can build. Wow. Okay. So, so malamang may mga may mga friction yan eh, right? Eprem, yung mga kasi when you try to make some changes, guys, sabi ni Ron last time, may mga mag against eh. Especially sa government yan, tama ba? So, yeah, so sobra, pag may sobra. pila, mayroong corruption. 
you won't you won't bro you won't believe what mm-hmm. um uh ano yung alam mo yung i always believe that the government should have the the biggest power in IT talaga pero mm-hmm. baliktad eh kaya nga sinasabi sa most of my most of my investors are from the US and Korea no? palagi nila sinasabi sa amin sa ibang bansa um why are you sticking with the government with contracts with the government sabi ko ganito kasi yan in in different parts of the world the Philippines does not believe in a unicorn industry yung unicorn industry kasi is um magsimula ka sa private then you go to the government contracts dito kasi is you have to earn the trust of the government before mm-hmm. before you will be trusted by the private so you have to create a standing in the government para lang talaga pagkatiwalaan ka ng private sector especially with the education okay. sector the payment sector mm-hmm. sa so pag wala kang standing diyan baliwala ka kasi we we are in an uh, uh, sanay tayo sa ano eh, eh. sanay tayo sa imports eh if you get what i mean like if there's a philippine product that's right. built we 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 don't trust filipino products bro that's the mm-hmm. main thing that, that's that's ano napakasakit yan uh, when, when i when i talk to when i talk to to a friend of mine sabi ko bro um i've been in this industry and always remember that i would choose a people will always choose Toblerone over lala pag nasa 7-11 ka you won't choose a Filipino craft handmade hand handmade chocolate over Toblerone na sobrang industrial. Kaya nandun kasi yung mentality talaga natin eh. Kaya mahirap mag-breakthrough dito unless you have um so much patience talaga. Yun talaga, sobrang patient mo talaga na mm-hmm. you have to look into government rules. Alam mo talaga kung ano yung i-research mo. And and one thing pala na bakit nag-digitalize kami is COVID. Yung COVID kasi is a key factor. Eh. Nobody nobody knows about GCash. Nobody knows about Payment Gateway. That's hmm. the digital transcendence talaga. That's the eye opener na pwede palang gamitin yung QR code, di ba? Kaya it, it was the paradigm shift of everything, di ba? Merong pros and cons yun. The cons probably is people lost their lives people mm-hmm. lost families and everything but on 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 the the for the greater good of it it's the adoption of technology yan yung digital yan tinatawag namin na digital transcendence eh. kasi yun talaga yung nagrevolutionize ng tech eh. we were 10 years up for the philippines is like what 5 to 10 years hindi siya up to speed light years away from the technology of the us diba kaya lang, mm-hmm. there is really a need so Y- yun yung ano yun yung yun yung shift na inadapt ng Pilipinas kaya natuwa naman kami imagine tinatawanan ako dati when i started virtual reality in the philippines wala yan hindi yan magki-click dito hindi pa uso yan hindi pa <laughs> di ba kaya kaya yun nagpop out kami nung nagpandemic talaga Yun yung mga sinasabi, hindi pa uso yan, kaya wala, hindi kami open for change. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, and, Ganun yung ano. Okay. And um, ng- ngayon, lang nag- ngayon lang nag-shift yung mga rules ng Pilipinas, like the Innovation Act of the Philippines, mm-hmm. um, merong Board of Investment, uh, a resolution from the President supporting um, innovations. Kaya d- doon na lang nag-change eh, dahil sa landscape mm-hmm. na yan. mm mm when you say board of investment, what is that? It's like a, a parang ano siya sa government where in they give mm. you fund. Actually, it's a tax relief program. Like if you're a startup, y- yun nga yung sinabi ko kay to to yung namit namit ko sa platform. Hey, mas ano siya pesa? Si Jan, de ba? Yeah, si yeah, Jan, yeah. A, yeah. I met Jan. Sabi ko, bro, if you're a startup, look into um. To, to this uh, pesa kasi pag pag pesa ka pwede ba mag pesa then you can start pitching kaya sabi ko sa kanya na pag-aralan ba talaga ng maigi yung product mo kasi sobrang dami niyan and uh, is it a niche market can you break the market kaya nga sabi ko pag ako tinanong mo regarding risk assessment and mitigation ang dami mo pang ang dami mong dadaan ng butas diyan because 
everybody is doing it and how can you compete with top caliber ano na mga perfumes di ba kaya lang you have to market it good create a good mm. branding and everything because branding especially with especially with perfumes yan ang pinaka ano yan ang pinaka ano, branding is it's like what you spend 50% of your budget in yeah. marketing yeah ganun talaga Kaya yun, yun yung ano ko. Eh, ano lang, ibigay lang ako ng idea ulit dun sa, ano, BO, ayan, di ba? Tama ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Board of Investments. Ayan, so, ano yun eh. Uh, merong parang mga, walang, ano yun, may mga walang bat, parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. Tax relief programs, uh, like, you're given five years of incentives, zero percent tax, so that you can stand up talaga sa startup. Ah, uh, okay. So, if you have income, hindi ka nila... Is it is it yeah. like just a VAT or is it like um just a kung ano income mo hindi ka nila itatax ganun ba yon? Yeah yeah it's it is copied oh. from the Singapore system for oh. in, in like like if you're a startup um or if you have foreign investment coming in so yun yung titingnan mo kung kaya merong mga pesa buildings eh. like in Moa merong mga piece, pesa BC BC uh, BPO pesa yan eh. Yeah yeah no. It does not only go for IT. Eh. It, it stands out for so, anything. Itong, that sir Eprem, so itong, um, itong program, program ng government for startup companies in the Philippines. Mm. And, and there is a Philippine Startup Act as well. That is, um, oh. maraming, ano, there, there were really specific changes to support uh, the national transcendence of startups talaga in the Philippines. So, you promote yung local market natin. Do you, know, do you know basic like requirements? Um, do you, is there like a, a, link, uh, a site that we're in um, we, we can look onto or share to our listeners so that all of the startup companies that might qualify can apply? Mm. Um, they just need to look into this one, Siguro. It, it's not a website, but it's really a republic app. It's, it's called the Startup Act of the Philippines. And another one, if, if you're into innovations and technology, you have to look into the Innovations Act of the Philippines. Then, dun, makikita mo na kung saan pupuntahan. And another, the third one is the, the Board of Investment. So, dun mo makikita kung pasok ba kayo, i-bet kayo. Then, and, and the fourth probably is, which is we are not fond of, is yung, ano, I fulfill, yung patents. Yun ang, yun ang, yun ang, alam mo yung, hindi tinitingnan talaga ng iba regarding patenting their own product para it's not like kasi sa trade, trademark eh. right yeah trademark. yeah yeah, yeah. Sana, uh, trademark is for the name alone but for mm-hmm. registering the product if it is a invention or a tinatawag nilang utility model which is an innovation of the invention di ba kaya maraming pagdadaanan eh some kasi is they mag Business is all about risk, but if it took me like what three years of failures, seven failed startups before I we we we, we were trying to build an empire. Na pumasok mm-hmm. talaga sa ganon. Pero it's a seven continuous fa- learning talaga. <laughs> seven failed startup. Um, yeah. if you don't mind me asking, Ephraim, what's the first startup that you did? Like, um, what was? Do you remember or ayaw mo nang alalahan? <laughs> Siguro my first startup talaga um it's a learning management platform it's a oh so nasa education yeah. okay yeah it's it, that was the first startup then um self funding talaga tama yung kanina no um was it Ron who told us about regarding friends and families um mm. yun yung una mong lalapitan for for um for startup for uh, it's called a bootstrap uh, I, I don't know if, if yeah Bootstrap, it's yeah. called a bootstrap. You try to go to your family and everything. You 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 work with your own funding. Because I was a chief engineer, I was earning like what, um, three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand a month. So, you know, bootstrap ako. In peso. Yeah, peso. When I was I was sailing no, as a chief engineer, then wow. okay. do, don't ko na pansin na every time na iniwan ko yung business, nagfail siya kasi inaasa mo sa ibang tao Mm-mm. then yun, typically when i stopped 
sailing, doon ko nakita na you, you need to have focus. You don't need to trust families and relatives, especially for for startups talaga kasi nagfe-fail mm. siya eh. Um, mm. Iba kasi yung essence na ikaw yung nagdadala. Y- May puso. Oo, oh, at saka sabi nga eh, you are not meant to be from 8 to 5 eh. Mm-mm. You don't do eight to five. You don't. You don't do an eight-hour shift. It's like it's a twenty-four-hour shift. Kahit gabin iba yung inisip mo. Gamit yung inisip. Kahit sa panaginip mo, bro. Kahit sa panaginip mo. Insan. Palesta yun. Di ba? Panaginip ka na kung laba ako, no? Oh. Yeah. Dala mo na yun hanggang into dreams and nightmares na yung business eh. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Naalala ko din yung asawa ko eh Pagka kinakausap ko, minsan sasabihin niya I think si Elmer ganun din eh uh, Break muna tayo tungkol sa business Pero kasi nung passionate ka kasi diba, Sa business eh, yun lang gusto mong pag-usapan <laughs> Pero mm-hmm. may mga bagay silang gusto mong pag-usapan Aside sa business so, Eh ikaw mm-hmm. naman, yun ang passion mo so eh, Which is, you have to understand diba? Kasi, kasi hindi naman passion talaga, I mean you're enjoying it You don't feel na you've been burden to do it. It's just like normal to you na yung kasi yung hilig mo. Mm-hmm. It's not, I know, when you start businesses talaga, dapat the vision must be very clear. You have this mm-hmm. outcome, you have an end in mind na yun yung gusto mong gawin and you have to mm-hmm. stick to that one and mm-hmm. you have to learn that every time you do business, it's all about failures. It's not, but sabi ko nga kay, kay John, sabi ko bro, the the good thing about creating business is you have you 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 will have failures in the process but if mm-hmm. you have mentors who failed already and you try to listen to them you just yep. expedited the process galing diba yep. i think sinasabi natin na iwasan na yung mga pagkakamali ng mga galing na- talaga oh. FM. sana nakilala na kita noon <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I 100% agree kay Ephraim kasi talagang totoo yung sinasabi niya. Um, ang hirap at um, kaya masarap makinig sa sa isang entrepreneur na you came from that experience. Meron silang experience na iba isa share, lalo na yung mga failures kasi doon ka magkakaroon ng edge kasi mm. makakaipasa mo yung pagkakamali. And sometimes, mm. ang hirap din makinig dun sa mga guru na hindi pa naman nila na-experience and then they have, you know, they just say something na overgeneralize everything and then at the end, hindi naman natututo din yung, yung mga nakikinig. Kaya I really appreciate yung, ano, yung sinabi ni Ephraim na business talaga is more p- failures than success sa una. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totoo yun. Kaya mas magandang makinig doon sa mga nagkamali na. <laughs> yeah, because yun ang makakatulong sa'yo, right? To avoid the pain oh. and suffering, right? Na, mm-hmm. Kaysa i-experience nyo. Na. Yung huling usapan nga natin, partner, di ba? Yung, yung wanna make it sure na yung taong pina- nag advice sa'yo is at least doing this on that line of industry or at least professionally na nadaanan niya yung mga sistema na yun para sure talaga na reliable yung <laughs> advice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero, saka, one thing to add no? kaya nga ako I'm I um Ron is an ISO auditor diba yes yes bro that's the bible of business bro para sa akin creating your own procedures policies and everything that's that's it eh yan na yun eh nandyan nandyan lahat eh that's that's why it was it's called ISO ano eh Yung iba kasi, they don't din. Di na kailangan yun. Certification lang yan. Pero hindi. Mas kailangan yeah. nga. <laughs> oh sobra. Kasi that will strengthen your process. That will that will mm-hmm. create kung ano yung paano pag nag-multitask ka. Biro mo, when you start a business, ikaw yung president, ikaw yung accounting, ikaw yung finance, finance mm-hmm. ikaw yung... Ikaw lahat yan. Kaya lahat, kaya lahat ng possible jar. Ako, ang layo ko, si man ako. Pero we're doing into tech. Kaya kailangan lahat ng possible jargons in the business. I have to learn because how, how can I sell my product if I don't understand my product myself, di ba? Kaya yun ang, yun ang pinaka ano dun eh. Kaya sa akin, lahat ng staff ko kailangan memorize talaga nila what is, what's, what's the policy, what's, what's the vision, what's the mission, hmm. what are your goals, di ba? 
para every day naka-instill sa kanila. Masaya sila and then they, they work for me. Uh, alam mo naman kasi uh, in business talaga isa lang din yung masasabi. And marami tayong pwedeng sabihin sa negosyo pero we don't need the smartest guy in the room. We need people who are street smart. Alam nila kung how how to penetrate the business rather than being so intelligent na pa, pa yung sinasabi nilang uh, paralysis due to analysis. Sa sobrang analyze mo, ayaw mo na mag-take ng risk. Di ba? Mm-mm. Daming ganun. Daming ganun ang negosyante din minsan. Mm-mm. Hindi ko alam yan. Yung ISO pala, Bible pala sabi. Buti na kaibigan ko si Ron. Ito to. Yung ISO, ano sa ano yan. Anong nasa university ako ng accounting major kasi ako. Uh, isa sa mga ano yan, uh, essentials ng management. ISO. Mm-hmm. Kaya... Congratulations, Ron. Pero mabalik tayo dun sa sinabi niya. Totoo yun, no? Yung, yung, hindi mo kailangan maging matalino. <laughs> so, Trade smart, ang ganda. Sinabi niya. Pero kailangan alam mo lang yung ginagawa mo. Kasi sometimes, meron naman na execute lang na execute naman din. <laughs> Di ba? Mm-hmm. Maganda yung pinaghandaan talaga, pinagplanuhan. Oo. Oh. At saka yung, yung parang mag- mag- picture lang yan din eh. Ang an- dami kong Ang dami ko pwedeng sabihin din eh. Pero ma, your, your goal as a mentor is not to create the same thing that to become the mentor. It should be more than the mentor. Di ba? Kaya, um, if you're, I'm, I'm in really into education, pero, in, innovations in education, pero, alam mo yung palagi kong sinasabi sa yung mga kinu-coach ko ng mga startup. Kasi we, we have also venture capitalists. May meron kaming venture capitalist eh, di ba? Nag, Nag-VVCs na kami. So, uh-huh. sinasabi ko palagi na, ano, na, um, wa, wa, my goal is, dapat lamangan mo ako. Hindi mo ako, sir, gusto kong makatulad sa iyo. Sabi ko, hindi. Bro, hmm. mali yung, mali yung sinasabi mo. Dapat, you have to be more than me. Kasi that's the true essence na, natuto ka sa akin. May may question lang ako. Mm. Diba, as as mentor ba uh, sometimes merong oh, may tinatanong sa yung mini mentor mo. Pero mm. hindi, uh, hindi mo tinuturo yung buong kailangan niyang gawin step by step kasi alam mong kailangan niyang ma-experience yung yung bagay na yon. May ganun ba? May ganun ba? Actually, I I do that. No? Pag nagturo ako It's it's never about kaya binabago namin yung word from a teacher to a facilitator, di ba? Kasi yung teacher kasi you just teach, you you're teaching people na ito yung gagawin mo, ito yung lahat ng aanuhin mo. Ito yung ituturo ko sa iyo, pakinggan mo ako, ito yung ito yung output. Hindi, you, we tama yun. It's called experiential learning. Dapat ma-experience mo. Kasi sabi ko nga, um you, you have Bro, sobrang idol ko yan si Elon Musk. So, sobra. Um, yeah. they, they created Ad Astra, if you heard about it. Ad Astra is a school na shifted yung shifted yung learning. For example, if you wanted to become a mechanical engineer, yung day one nila dyan for a mechanical engineer is they give you the machine, they give you the tools, they, you try to break it up as much as possible, then you tell me what's wrong with it. Then I will tell you kung paano mo aayusin yan. na na ano but but syempre hindi naman pwede sa lahat ng business yan because we're just spending millions on it eh. pero you, you try to simulate and emulate those patterns na oh mali ka dito this is this is what you do kasi mas mabilis yung learning pag nagkakamali ka talaga yan ang yan ang yan ang sad truth eh pag nagkamali ka doon ka matututo so that, hmm. that's that's the that's the way they're, they're we're using it into our venture capitalist Meron pala kami isang company ngayon yung tinatawag na Carga X. It's a logistics platform na it's So like what's the name again? What's Carga the name? X. Actually okay. we copied it from SpaceX. Eh. Carga X oh. is like a um a platform na hindi nagii-exist sa Philippines na yung mga trucks kino-connect namin. It's, it's called a uh, last mile platform, no? Oh, so yung mga okay. It's like a Lala move pero sobrang laking mga trucks, six wheelers, ten wheelers na pwede kang mag-add doon. 
it's being funded already by San Miguel. Um, yun, we, we, vision lang yun dati. Kaya sasabi, sabi ko nga, you have just to look into that proper niche kung saan talaga mm-hmm. pwede mag-pop out yung business. Niche market talaga. Look for the proper niche. Sorry, nagsusulat ako ha, FM. Alam mo naman ako. <laughs> yeah. Ephraim, Ephraim uh, may tanong ako. So, going back to our highlight topic about um, raising capital, um, can mm-hmm. you share some of your um, experience on how you raise capital for your businesses? And what yeah. are those uh, highlights and then some challenges uh, in doing that? So, Yung una talaga is one, yung niche. Second talaga is yung market study na pwede ba talaga siyang maging business. Kasi yun, yun naman talaga yung pinaka um What I told John before when I met him, sabi ko, bro, have you heard about the business canvas? Yung, it's like you have to put 11 parts of it. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's 11 parts of it na yung what's your unique selling proposition. Kasi tapos, don't write a very long letter create a elevator pitch in five minutes if you can pitch to me in five minutes or less mm. na mag invest ako sa'yo then you have a solid product kasi investors always like what do pa- yung end, end question yan is paano tayo kikita dyan yan yung pinakatanong eh. if, if you try to if you try you study what is on the risk ako like kahapon I, I was being asked um, um, from there is a influx of money from our company. What shall we do with it? So ko, um, I'll try to look into a niche market. Then you know, it, it, it was funded for like what uh 12 million kahapon. So um for for a startup, then you how, you did, how up, did you sir Efren um find those investors? You and I think my question is um how what are the ways or or like um how did you get the funding did you have uh, um friends and relatives that invest or did you go to uh make presentation yeah. to get uh funding from uh, known investors do you do um public do you guys uh issue stock certificates do you guys do crowdfunding do you guys avail government um programs that will help you in initialize the seed capital um mm. Ano yung mga nadaanan nyo pong experiences na nakakuha kayo yung, capital for your company? Yung first ko talaga is bootstrap, fail, mm-hmm. di ba? Second is asking families and friends, fail, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi sobrang tanong eh. Sobrang <laughs> ano, sobrang, alam mo yung pag bootstrap ka, pag yeah. friends and families, sobrang, alam mo yung, sobrang, ang daming distrust, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yan yung pinaka problema. Then when when I started learning on how to gain investment, I, I met uh, uh, a naturalized Korean here in the Philippines. Then he was asking oh. me, um, "Can you do something about education for?" Ano? So ko, then my first initial investment was a check of two point eight million. Ooh. Top. 2.8 million. Okay. Without ano, walang contract. This is walang the contract. Korean. This is the Korean. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I call him like my angel investor. Diba? The angel so, investor. Um, yung, yung angel investor na yan, isipin mo bro ha, ikaw nag-isip and he is so, he, he is really good. Sabi niya, okay, um, alam ko naman na uh, 60-40 yung ano dito sa Pilipinas. I'll give you 40, I'll give you 60%. I'll invest in the 40%. Uh, but I'll invest everything for the 100% per- of the capitalization. Then the company oh, is yours for 60%. It, it, it started with a learning management platform, yung ginawa ko for education. When was then, this? That, anong year, sir? Uh, 2017. Oh, that was a good one. And then mm-hmm. did you provide din yung uh, mga feasibility study or walang tanong-tanong basta naniwala siya sa'yo and then yes, yes. the money. Yeah, kasi, yeah, kasi pag angel investor talaga, pitch deck lang yung gagamitin mo eh. Ikwikwento mm-hmm. mo lang kung ano yung vision eh. And, and mm-hmm. if that, kasi minsan tinatawag talaga yung alignment of stars eh. 
alam mo yung that specific guy na konti lang yung sinabi mo but he really believes in that one nag-align yung yung vision and mission niyo you get a pop out di ba kaya nga merong mga mga pitch decks eh yung, yung pitch deck like I, I copy my pitch deck with how Uber did it di ba how they hmm. become the startup Uber wow. and, and yung so pinaka model ko oh, start, Uber uh, somebody like really just uh, came across into your life like an angel investor mm. uh, without like like a, a detailed uh, presentation you just pitch what your open your idea and then mm. big like invested in 2.8 million in 2017 and yes, then yes. the rest are history yeah then then we became partners until now ngayon oh, until every now. business yeah every business that i have lahat kami like we both own the seven companies bro we both own mm-hmm. kami na so we are um we own yung isa kasi na investment talaga is people yun ang that's he's a very good man he is already a conglomerate in logistics in shipping and logistics tapos sabi niya um he's already 72 years old pero sobrang sharp niya sa innovation sabi niya there is a shift that i must balance for my people no so that specific shift is he went he asked me to lead the innovation group of that conglomerate tapos yun na tuloy-tuloy na kaya sobrang sobrang blessed so yung diba? yan nasa industry din ng innovation and IT yes yes before seven years ago he was in logistics and oh, and shipping then sabi niya frem i need somebody to look into what are the new technology kaya minsan minsan nasa Las Vegas ako nasa LA ako Then I went to Korea, Japan, and China to look for these technologies which does not mm-hmm. exist in the Philippines. Tapos mm-hmm. I, I bring it back to even even meron kami company bro na building ayon for blockchain, but not for money, but for mm-hmm. credentials. So for um, tinatawag namin yun anti recto university. Yung we use okay, blockchain. <laughs> yeah, kasi pwede ka magpagawa ng diploma sa recto, ah. pero hey, matil sin <laughs> Diba? Mm-hmm. that's what we do so ngayon um uh maraming ano natatawa that sorry for the word uh, pero natatawa din ako sa iba na pumapasok sa mga startup village sa mm-hmm. startup na ganito <laughs> kasi minsan sobrang taas ng equity na kinukuha na halos i- alam mo yung i-dissolve mo na yung sarili mo even though you got that idea mm-hmm. tapos wala na hindi na hindi, hindi na tama mm-hmm. oh nagiging industrial partner ka na lang instead of sa primary shareholder kasi it's it's ano it's it's parang sige na lang bahala na basta kumita na lang ako now you became now you you go back to being an employee diba yeah you work for For your oh. own company na mas mababa pa yung ano. Um, oh. And for me, follow-up question na ako doon. Um, yung Korean guy, right? Saan mm. mo siya na-meet? Sa isang event or sa pitch deck? Um, actually, in-introduce lang ako ng isang kaibigan doon kasi he needs somebody who can create uh, a platform or design oh. a course uh, on business. Mm. Kasi... Um, Mahilig talaga ako sa business strategy and management, no? development, R&D, ganun. So, pinamit, pinano niya ako, sabi niya, can you create a course for me for that one? Tapos nung nakita niya na mahilig ako sa innovation, doon siya nag-pop out. Sometimes it's luck talaga. So, ito yung, yeah. ano, ito ba yung Seaversity noong 2017? Yes, yes. That's the, that's it. Okay. And then after Seaversity, you have other couple companies na tinayo. Hmm. And then hmm. ano naman yung approach mo how you get those uh, capital for those next succeeding companies na meron kayo? Meron na bang another uh, Korean or ano ba mismo programs ba? So, kami na lang. In-house? Kami na lang talaga. Kami. When, oh. when we started ROI na um actually hindi pa nga ROI, burn rate pa siya. Eh. We're still burning. Tapos sasabihin niya sa akin na, have you seen this technology? Ganyan. Sabi ko, oh, nakita ko na yan. Then I create another pitch deck. 
The next investment that we have is around 29 million already. Yun yung PCI Tech na. And so, then where are you guys plan to present it? Sinong investor? In-house pa rin? Or you guys are planning to go out? Find investors? No, actually, hindi na kami lumalabas, bro. Oh, hindi nice. Hindi na kami oh, lumalabas. Wow. Kami na lang talagang dalawa. Hanggang... Hanggang hanggang umabot kami ng ano um, pag core payment gateway. So wow. kaya ngayon nag, nag kami naman yung nag ako naman yung my job really. Yung goal ko naman since we we can do seed funding is mm-hmm. we look into kung ano yung business na yan. Tapos kami na yung gumagawa ng mga bagong companies na sarili na namin, di ba? Hindi na yung um, we look into Kubo, we look into the Startup Village. Um, mm-hmm. y- yun kasi, para sa akin lang, ah, if, if that's good if you're really looking for investors, like startups. Mm-hmm. Um, kasi we, we, we do our own VCs na eh. Pero yung iba kasi is, pumupunta dun, the reason that they go out to go out into that one is because of the primary thing na naghahanap ka ng investor is for connections. It's not all about the money. It's all about connecting people as well. It's never mm-hmm. about all about money. It's all about That's kaya right. nga sabi ko hindi pwedeng pera lang ang nandito. Kailangan dito may connection. Kasi sa Pilipinas, bro, it's very rampant yung connection. People mm-hmm. go into the government para lang sorry ah, pero that's the sad reality of mm-hmm. of the business here in the Philippines. Kami lang is we try to work on a Alam mo yung, ang hirap sabihin eh. Alam mong mali, pero dapat mo pa rin gawin. For mm-hmm. the sad reality that we're in the state of ganun. Sobrang rampant ng, sobrang, sobrang rampant. Pero I know that the government is doing something regarding it. Pero kaya nawawalan, nawawalan ng pag-asa yung isang entrepreneur sa Pilipinas eh. Kasi nauuna yung bulsa. Nabubulsa mm-hmm. over doon what you can deliver. Diba? Yeah. Ron, Ma- nakasalaya, nakasalaya, na. Na. <laughs> yeah, nakasalaya na kasi. Mm. Ron? Ayan. Nakikinig lang. <laughs> so, nakasalaya na kasi, right? Ang hirap yeah, na kasi yeah. baguhin eh. Um, so, ang nakikita ko dito, nung, nung, dun sa experience ni Ephraim, nung nag-start siya ng 2017, the scene of University, may isang angel investor na talagang naniwala dun sa ideas niya. Mm. And then from there, nag, nag-grow yung business and then hindi, hindi na sila nangailangan ng capital because in-house capital na yung bininvest nila sa mga new companies na mm. na ginagawa nila which is yun yung uh, another way on how to secure capital is make sure that the the company that you built in pag mm. nag-cook na is you can just use your in-house money, extra money to start up another company. Uh, yeah, that's 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 uh that's what we did, and the one of the main reason why we created multiple companies is yung mga downfalls and failure. Because if if sabi nga namin dalawa, um, if we build only one company and try to solidify this one, uh, we know that there is a large niche market. Pero what if this company fails? Kaya every year halos gumagawa kami bagong company. Um. Okay. There is. Ah, uh, 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 di ba kayo ng, ng new company? Paano kayo hmm. naglalabas ng money dun sa sa first company through dividends ba? Or... Yes, yes, yes. Dividends talaga. Ah, dividends. Dividends namin. talaga. Dividends namin. So once we file a dividend, tapos pag nag natapos na yung fiscal year, so that fiscal year, pag release namin yung dividends gawa kami ng bagong niche market na so hindi siya hiwalay hindi kayo hindi kayo lang bumibili ng equity within the parent company <laughs> wala yung yung alam mo yung we invest on kaya yung sinabi ko kanina we invest on people like we we allocate 20 to 30% to the people that will run the company and we are the board of directors yung ano ko angel investor so yun yung nangyayari so we give 20 to 30 percent. Depende kasi, kasi yung rule namin every year that you stay with the company is equivalent to 1 percent equity. Ah, para hindi tumagal siya, talaga hindi sa mga tao. Subsidiary. Hindi kayo alibawa, yung nag-create kayo isang corporation, ang owner is yung mismong isa yung corporation hmm. para walang tax. Kasi hindi, hindi, walang. Oh, hindi, yun, namin eh. nag, 
hindi kami nag-holdings eh. Uh-huh. Wala kaming holdings. Hindi kami nag-holdings. Double tax kayo niyan. Meron kayong dividend tax tsaka DOST, DST sa uh-huh. investment. Yeah, yeah. Actually, kasi nagbabayad talaga kami ng tax. Mostly kasi nasa government kami. At saka pag masyado na kasing marami na nag-holdings kami, um, hindi pa siya, mga probably one to two years from now, mag-holdings na kami kasi syempre pumapatok na yung mga payment gateway namin. Pero I think it's not yet time for us. Kasi nag-holdings na dati. Kaya lang siya, siya yun nag-holdings dati. Kaya lang sabi ko, wag muna tayo mag-holdings until ma-solidify natin yung buong investment. Diba? Kasi may, may, meron, kaming, meron kaming pattern na sinusunod na nasubukan nyo na dati. Siya kasi mahilig sa ano eh. Mahilig din sa investment eh. Kaya, yun. Ito ang Korean investment mo. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ephraim, um, let's just go back dun sa, kasi nabanggit mo, seven times ka nag-fail, right? Mm. Uh, sa bout failure mo, kasi na-mention mo rin, uh, it's very important to have a mentor, right? When mm. was the portion of that uh, journey na nagkaroon ka ng mentor? Because I'm sure, yeah. or second, third, sasabi mo, ayoko na, iba na lang. Parang, oh. lagi na rin nagpipay. <laughs> Di ba? Oh, oh. So, ano, um, doon ako nagka-mentor when I had my Korean investor on my on my hand na talaga. Nung nandun na talaga siya. Kasi, um, yung lahat talaga, sinubukan talaga. Yung, yung kaya nag-fail talaga yung business is tinitiwala natin sa iba. Diba? So, yun, nung yun 2017 na. backwards, oh. yun yung mga failure mo seven times. Then, after 2017, you met this Korean investor. Mm-hmm. And siya yes, naging mentor yes. mo. And then, everything becomes like uh, more uh, successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganun talaga. Then, I I, st- I did some crash courses. A- ako, ah, para lang sa akin, ah, if, mm-hmm. if you're really into business, AIM is the way, bro. Yung Asian Institute of Management here in BGC. Sobrang, uh, here in Makati. Sobrang, ano yan, sobrang, you just need to pick like 25,000 pesos na courses na ganun. You will learn something Ancient, out diba? of it. Ames, right? Abortion, di ba? Abortion. Ah, 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 ah. Asian oh. Institute of Management. Grabe, grabe yung teachings yan, bro. You you will mm. have classmates of very high caliber professionals. Yung kaklase ko dyan, ano yan, anak ng Vice President ng Petron. Kaya, um, alam mo yung, yung, you, you, you try to educate yourself, right? set your friends na ano yun yun, yun nalalo ko kay sinabi ko kay kay Jan sabi Jan. ko kay Jan um Jan that's why sports cars are built kasi pag nagsosolo ka pa sa negosyo bus yung sinasakyan mo o jeep habang hmm. nagnenegosyo ka marami pa kayo niyan marami kayong maraming gustong sumakay sa idea mo lahat pero habang nakikita mo yung negosyo at saka lumalago ka, your friends get thinner and thinner. Kaya nga sports car, dalawa lang talaga yung upuan. Kasi mm. doon mo makikita how expensive a sports car is. Kasi the better, sobrang mahal niyan, tapos kailangan yung steering niyan, yung st- how, how you steer your business should be based on on how fast you drive, how safe you are. Yeah, minsan. So, parang yung naging model mo nung with your Korean uh, partner. Oh, dalawa lang talaga kami. Sports car. Yun lang. Uh, Ay, yun yung... Kaya kayo ngayon. <laughs> May, meron din. Meron din. <laughs> Hindi, hindi na siya mahilig sa ganun eh. Minsan, coaster na lang yun siya eh. Yung mga... Pero, mga pilot, pilot, pilot seats, di ba? Kaya, yeah. ano lang, um, yung, yung seven startups ko talaga, one thing that I learned from it definitely is about uh, siguro focus talaga. Focus, wag mong itiwala. Dapat hands-on ka talaga. Kasi yung nangyayari nun, sasakay ako ng barko, mag na naman ako ng pera. Tayo na naman. Failed na naman. Tapos without studying. Hmm. I don't know you, I don't know about you guys, but 
one thing na nag turn around which is a key thing a key thing that really changed my my perception in business is called the blue ocean strategy i don't know if you heard about it but i'm not it's a book yon or yes it's a it's a it's a it's a very good book on um creating a unique selling proposition kwento ko na lang konti but sige sige please if, if, <laughs> if, if you're really into that that really changed my ano eh. like i finished the book in two days and sabi ko oh nga no bakit ka ba, bakit kaya tayo ganito then i tried to research about it and marami talaga that that's a book about niche market kasi yung blue ocean strategy kasi yung business kasi natin is subdivided into different areas katulad ng um katulad ng yung prinsipyo ng Pilipino pag mayroong sari-sari store diyan sa block nyo lahat niyan diyan uy si ganito nagtayo ng sari-sari store tayo na naman yung kabila same thing hanggang pag wala kang noodles lilipat ka sa kabila bibili ka ng noodles sa kabila tapos pag may pera ka na magre-restock ka hanggang yung buong barangay halos bawat kanto lahat merong merong sari-sari store Kaya when when I told John about it regarding unique selling propositions using the blue ocean strategy, sabi ko sa kanya, pag meron kang isang block na puro tindahan dyan, maghanap ka ng isang USP mo or unique selling proposition or niche market. Bakit hindi ka ba pwedeng ikaw na lang mag-supply ng lahat ng coke sa kanila? E di lang ngayon, yung buong block ng nagbebenta ng coke sa'yo, yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ko. That's that's how a blue ocean strategy works. Kasi saturated market over untapped market. Di ba? Look for that untapped market where you can be an ace. Or probably not an ace, but mamamayag pagka talaga. Kaya that, kung gusto talaga nila na ano, they, we use the blue ocean strategy talaga. Kaya doon kami sa niche marketing talaga. Niche is very important so, talaga. Since, since, since ginamit yung blue ocean strategy since 2017, or yeah 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 no, no. Na, ano, that's that's the time na nag that's the time ng um gumamit ako ng sarili ko kasi yun eh yung blue ocean strategy yun yung ginamit ko na nakuha ko yung first initial investment ko for 2.8 million mukhang need ko na basahin yung book ah <laughs> meron akong book pero hindi ko pa binabasa <laughs> Oh bro, it's uh for for us it's one of the key things na that created a turnaround for us. Na ano. Si yung author niya si ano, di ba? Rene, is it Rene Ma Board? Uh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Let mm-hmm. me check that book. Para narinig ko na pero that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Um mm-hmm. we 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 have 10 more minutes. Okay. Yeah. FM, it's really nice to talk about these things, right? Because um, alam naman natin, we're very passionate about uh, the business. Um, any, Elmer, mayroon ka bang itatanong? Kasi I'm going to ask Ephraim the last question, right? May follow-up ka ba? Or ikaw, Ron? Well, gusto ko interested ako malaman kung ilan taon na si Sir Ephraim. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm turning 41 this November 13. Wow. Four, 41? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're almost at the same age. Yeah. And nagbe mentor pa po kayo. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, 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 nag, nag uh, ano kami. Um, actually, it's my job talaga to, kasi, ano kami, um, what we do is we build businesses, tapos pag nagsimula na mag-income, we take 20% of that company. De, sa amin yan, ha? sa amin to. Ha? Mm-hmm. Pag nabuo namin yung sarili namin company, we take 20% of that income going to our foundation. Kasi may foundation kami on leprosy. So, oh. yun, kaya, yun, kaya, alam mo yung good karma talaga sa amin is, is Giving back, eh? very important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Anong pangalan ng foundation? Yun, What's the name of Surok Uni Foundation. It's Surok oh. Uni Foundation. So uh, we give back sure to. Pwede mo bang hmm. i-get start ng information yung company? Yeah, well, I'm gonna get that information so that we can uh, promote it later on uh, once we make it live for for ano podcast. Really? Yeah, giving back to the community, kaling. Um, oh, kasi philanthropist na to siya. 
Sobra. Yeah. As in, sabi niya nga, my I money, I cannot bring interest. my money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Parang yeah. anak-anak na ako niyan eh. Kaya, yun, ikot na, ikot na lang kami. So, Efren, okay, pwede rin kami maging anak. Kapatid na, pwede natin siya, no? Oo. Basta, <laughs> pwede tam- rin actually, bro, your your advocacy on on how to teach people businesses is very important talaga para hmm. para malaman nila yung kasi youtube is a is a rich content pero dapat din malaman talaga yung kapwa pilip kasi eh, para sa akin na every nationality iba-iba yung perception iba-iba yung method di ba but hmm. they have to adapt kung ano din kung paano ginagawa ng Pinoy, yun ang pinaka-importante. Diba? Kasi hindi naman lahat talaga nagpapapout sa business. Eh. Kaya I, I would like to thank your 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 podcast on on yung ina-adapt kung ano yung Pinoy para malaman naman ng Pinoy kung ano yung totoo at saka ano yung hindi totoo. Kasi being a business is all about realism. Be realistic really? enough that you are you will be you will be facing challenges and if you don't if you don't hindi kaya yan maging positive thinking tama yung positive thinking kaya lang risk and mitigation iso going back to iso diba input hmm. output lahat yan risk and risk mitigation yan ang pinaka important <laughs> oo at saka plug those holes as much as possible with key answers yun ang yan ang pagkuha ng investment talaga pag merong tanong nang sabi paano pag ganito paano mo gagawin they go back to the drawing board of oh, oh, mm-hmm. ano tinanong sa akin ng investor to anong gagawin ko dito that's how you get investment dapat diba? talaga may business plan at least mm mm-hmm. sa akin i i, I use five I, i i use three things no uh, on mm-hmm. creating business tatlong pager lang ng deck yung ginagamit ko it's called the business canvas another one is pestel uh, um pestel analysis And the other one is the Porter's analysis. It, th- those are the three things. Pag, sabi ko, pag nabuo mo yung tatlo, sure bull ka na dyan. Sure, sure bull Pwede ka dyan. Pwede ba yan uh, para yung mga listeners namin na mga Ulit startup. nga, business canva, pestle analysis, at saka Porter analysis, right? Oo, oh, yan. Kasi okay. yung business canvas will try to look into your, kung, kung paano mo, unique selling proposition, what's mm-hmm. the revenue stream, what's the cost structure, sino yung mm-hmm. channels, sino yung lalapitan mo. Once you build that one, may may ima-migrate mo talaga yan into a pestle analysis. Yung pestle analysis is um the first word is political. Or is the business pol- eh, does the sub inclinations to politics? Um mm-hmm. how do you settle political? Tapos economic, um social, technology, may kung if you're into manufacturing environmental and the last one is for legal aspects yun yung pestel and pestel analysis yung porters naman pag nabuo mo na yung dalawa yung porters is all about focusing on the marketing side of the business kaya kasi nabuo mo na yung buong idea eh. now mm-hmm. your goal is to how to market that specific product to to your targeted market di ba kaya tatlo, mm-hmm. tatlo talaga ginagamit ko pag nagme-mentor ako, sabi ko, tatlong bagay lang talaga muna. Then you try to work on that one and make it as layman's term as possible kasi people will never understand if you use very hard jargons. Yung mga hindi mm-hmm. nila naiintindihan, hindi. Pag hindi nila i-invest. <laughs> Oo, huwag ganun. Go ano directly yung huli, to the ano point. Yung lo, sir Efren? Porter, Porter, Porter analysis. Porter yeah. analysis. Mm-hmm. Five, five, ano yan eh? Five point porter analysis. Marketing na yun, marketing strategy. Pero yung pestel ba? Uh, kasi ginagamit din sa spot yan eh. Yes, yes. So, pestel alone lang yung kailangan muna. Yes. And actually, yung SWOT na, ginagamit yun, pag nalalaman mo na kung ano yung mga possible risk dun sa tatlo. Okay. Kasi di ba yung SWOT is like what? Strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. So ngayon ma ma, ma mahahan pick mo na kasi kung ano yung ano yung kailangan mo i-risk i- uh, ano ano yung, paano mo i-mitigate yung mga possible risk. Kaya sabi ko nga yung lahat kasi nyang sinabi ko na sa ISO din yan eh kaya lang iba yung pangalan. Approach is different mm-hmm. as well, di ba? Yeah, I think that's that's ano. 
Wow. May iba yung wow. question ko pala. Um, Doon ba sa IT company nyo, um, do you guys do um, um, Oracle platform? Uh, Oracle? Uh, yeah. um, actually, hindi kami sa, ano eh, sa, hindi kami sa Oracle eh. Actually, we build our own server. Kasi, um, yung Oracle kasi, para sa amin, pre, sobrang mahal yan, pre, Amazon, Oracle. Eh, hindi naman ginagamit yan worldwide. Hindi naman worldwide yung yung target market mo eh. Mm-hmm. Yung target market mo is latency and bandwidth. Kasi, example lang, ganito lang. Why is that? Why, bakit yung iba? Sobrang tiwala dyan. We built our own payment gateway, not on Amazon. Not mm-hmm. on different platforms. Not on Azure or any server. Kasi, we, we use the Oracle platform for our security. Oracle is one of the top-notch security talaga. Mm-hmm. Pero when we're talking about deploying servers here in the Philippines, yung sa amin is we build our own code. The reason is quite simple talaga. You don't, hindi kasi ginagamit sa ibang bansa eh. Yung nangyayari kasi sa internet natin, pag nag-connect ako, pupunta muna ng Singapore, tapos babalik sa Pilipinas. Kasi we don't have, mm-hmm. we don't have that servers. Yung sa amin, is called the local latency. Mas mabilis yun. Kasi nandun lang sa loob ng Pilipinas. So para mo lang. Oh, hmm. hindi na hindi hindi ka na magbabato. And it's it yung iba lang, magaling kasi talaga mag-market 'yan. Magaling mar- mm-hmm. Oracle is a very good marketing campaign. So server niya nasa Philippines lang naka-base. Yes, yes. Sa We build na. our oh, own okay. server farm. Mm. Wow. Lupi. Galing. Um sige, ang ang, ang saya kasi. <laughs> Ayaw pa natin huminto, pero kasi ano, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Natutuwa ako. Ephraim, um, ikakats ko na to. Uh, five more minutes. Sige, five more minutes pa. Any last uh, any last word or advice that you you can share with, you know, with people that starting up or people na sa journey of entrepreneurship that you can yeah. share to them? And then yung capital, uh, yung uh, anima advice mo if they're like is it starting up a business, how they could uh, uh, secure capital on their startup business, um, any last uh, piece of advice oh, yeah. or lessons bago tayo mag-end? Teka lang, yeah. si, uh, si Ron muna, sorry. Ron, Ron do you have yeah. any question, question. to ask ah, before? Akin, last question lang sa akin, ano, uh, can you give ano, three skill set sa mga nag, uh, na kailangan, kailangan uh, sa mga mag-start pa lang? business. Siguro skill set talaga is one sa akin is patience. You have to be very very patient uh, on 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 running your business. Pangalawa sa akin is very important street smart ka talaga. Kasi pag pag sobrang nandoon ka lang sa gilid, hindi you you will never you can never hindi ka hindi hindi ka lalabas sa mundo eh, no? And mm-hmm. and even though Um, kasi yung yung pagiging ano yung educating yourself siguro always don't be the next Nokia yun yun ang siguro yun yung the third try all try to be abreast with innovation kasi pag hindi okay na tayo dito settle na tayo na ganyan bigla ka na lang babagsak eh. yeah mm-hmm. siguro those are the things talaga <laughs> you try to innovate always yourself na look look deeper kaya nga merong mga ano eh merong mga ganun eh I, I, yeah. I think that's the three things that really needs to be one is very patient that someday in your life when you work so hard because business is not all about an eight, it's, it's, it's not all about an eight day kasi na, natut, ito sasabihin ko lang natutuwa nga ako sa ibang nagninegosyo sabi niya grabe no ganda ng success mo ganyan pero hindi nila na tip of the iceberg lang yun. Hindi nila alam yung ano yung bigat, ano yung failure mo, ano yung stress mo, ano yung sakit mo when you start the business. What they can see is your whole success story. Kaya, sab, kaya nga pag nag, 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 may advice din sa mga nagninegosyo is wag naman yung sabihin na sobrang successful niyan, maganda na yung inab, naabutan niya. Hindi ganun eh. Na, dapat, when, when we try to look at the business, Look at the downfalls and fails, dalaga. 
and and siguro my advice on on running such businesses is all about ano like your podcast guys that's this is very helpful to 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 people who are working in the industry diba? yung yung try to look for mentors coaches mm -hmm. and everything diba? who can really help you um get away with yung mga relapses and failures na nangyari sa kanila and mm -hmm. hear out their story and and way pa rin diba kaya minsan it's all about the perfect mentor eh. it's not about the perfect mentor but it's all about looking for the right partner talaga who really believes in your vision tapos pag sa investment naman practice makes perfect talaga if if you're doing a pitch deck for your investment you try to solidify create a business plan use the three things that i told about business canvas pastel analysis and the portrait then then try to practice it that it only fits for five minutes but the end of your slide is dapat um the roi or paano magre return yung investment siguro mm -hmm. that's the best best advice for people who are listening to your podcast diba? at humanap ng korean angel <laughs> 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 Hindi, malay mo. Ma ma malay natin. Pinoy na yung mag invest ba? Marami na yung Pinoy na nag invest eh. Oo oh, nga. Oh, malay mo, si Ebron na yun. Si <laughs> Ebron, pamentor naman. <laughs> Paampon kami kay ano. Nagahanap ng invest. May invest-an yan. <laughs> uh, yes. yeah, we're still looking uh, naman talaga. We're still, mm -hmm. we're still looking. Yeah. Thank you sa, ano, sa mga, mga inputs. Ganda. Oh, oh. Galing, no? Ayoko pa tumigil, eh. Kaya lang, <laughs> one and a half hour na tayo. Ano yung ma-invite ulit natin siya sa susunod? Oh, sir, um, hmm. I hope someday, like in the future, near future, ma-invite ka uli namin, kagaya ni Ron, na hmm. na-invite namin as a guest host. Buti pa mayag, available siya. <laughs> thank you so much for being the guest host. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ron. Appreciate it. Kasi okay. si Alan, eh. Tinatakasan kami lagi, eh. Ay, last pala, Sir Eflin, saan ka naka-located uh, pala? Yung, uh, Man Manila na ako talaga. Ah, Manila. Sa Manila na. Oh. Pero taga Cebu siya. Oh, mm. Galing. Sir, sana ma-meet kita in person pag-uwi ko. Next yeah, year. Yeah, sure, sure. No problem. <laughs> Na-excite ako. Elmer, I have to cut this. Sorry, guys. Um, It's it's uh 7.25. So, um, I know we still want to stay, right? And... Any last word, yeah. Elmer? Um, I-promote muna ni, ano, ni Sir F. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the hardest part, yung papatapos na eh. Parang ayaw natin tumigil, partner. Pero, you know, we have to say goodbye. Baka kasi yung mga nakikinig sa atin, ma-board din. <laughs> Pagkas, mm, mahaba, mahaba. Oh. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, Sir F. Rem, um, so this is the time na gusto po namin na uh, you could uh, mention your companies. Kung meron po kayong phone number and contact number. So that po yung aming mga listeners around the around the globe and even people in the Philippines can find you, find your business hmm. solutions so that they could know uh, paano po namin kayo makoconnect sa kanila or paano kanila mahahanap. Yeah, um, so if if you're into the maritime industry, we have Silver City um, for um, innovations and technology, blockchain, virtual reality. We have um, PCI Tech, the meaning for PCI Tech is uh philippine cyber institute if you're looking for it's who are here in the philippines to work for you guys on different parts of the globe we have um revtra um revtra is a staff augmentation company that's the third um if you're looking for payment gateways to connect you on a cost efficient manner and build you um specific erps or yung mga mga programs um hmm. we have that one that's pisopay.com and if you have trucks na gusto nyong iparent out or or like grab and lala move we have that one for carga x so yeah, meron pa we're, we're brewing two to three na companies pa. and if you wanted to contact me i think siversity at gmail is the simplest um that's the that's my oldest email it's um siversity that uh at gmail.com yeah i think that's 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 it 
Wow. wow. Thank you so much. Um, well, so thank that, you, thank you. Grabe, ang dami kong... dami ko na naman sinulat, ha? Dal, ta, da, tatlong page yata. <laughs> Make sure na-capture mo lahat yan para kompleto tayo. Ika nilabas natin yung episode ni Sir Efren. <laughs> ang galing. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Yes. Uh, we truly appreciate it. I know it's too, uh, early morning there. Um, I hope in the future we can invite you again. Um, maybe one of the guests or one of the guest hosts, right? Or, you know, maybe you can present uh, for us. Um, Elmer, any last word? Ron, any last word? Uh, yeah, sana magkita kami. Pagka, sir, pagpunta kayo ng South, muntin uh, lupa lang, halabang. Uh, sige, no problem. Malapit kami. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Elmer, last word. Bago yes, mag- uh, Thank you so much and um, napakarami talaga namin natutunan namin ngayon from Sir Ephraim. Um, we wish you more success and um, sa inyong mga business, lalo na sa Seaversity and the rest of your company. And sa lahat po ng aming mga followers ng Tagasubaybay, um, thank you so much for continuously um, listening to our podcast. Um, nararamdaman namin kayo kasi may report daw si Erwin eh. Like different countries are listening to this podcast. So we feel like may traction and we want to continue it. We don't want, we don't want to stop and uh, and we want to continue to share real experiences ng mga business persons, entrepreneurs around the world, especially ang mga Filipinos. We want to to, to uh, uh, share their stories and at the same time we can learn from their own stories. At sabi nga ni Sir Ephraim, you know, it's good to know na may mga tao na nagkamali na and we can learn their stories so that yung mga susunod na budding entrepreneurs can can avoid at least yung mga some holes na nadaanan na nila. And uh, thank you so much again. Nakakatawa po and uh, nakakataba ng puso na you were able to uh, be in this podcast at this point in time. Yes. Thank you, Sir Ephraim. Ron, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to cut the recording. Okay, in three, two, one, stop recording.